Hello and welcome back. My name is Bella, I'm 16 years old and I live on a sailboat sailing the world with my family. You say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me We are going travelling but on the land. So I've got a pack. I've got to fit everything in this bag for 10 days. We travel with our home everywhere we go. So like anything I need is just with me like all the time. So that's pretty awesome when you get to travel living on a boat. But we are going to drive to Phoenix and then we are going to fly to Baltimore for a boat show and then we're going to fly across the country to San Francisco where we're going to see my uncle and auntie and well yeah I've got a pack. We went to the boat show last year and it was pretty fun. So if you're going to be at the Annapolis boat show come and say hi because we will be there. I feel like I have a lot of clothes though for 10 days. It's all winter clothes. Apparently, it's very cold. Well, last year it was kind of cold too, I guess. But, you know. Ooh, it already takes up a bit of room. Doesn't really fit. Thinking even about bringing my glasses. I know, right? I need glasses. I don't need them. They make things a little bit clearer, I guess, but I live without them. We'll bring them just in case there's something really cool to see. I'm kidding, I'm not that blind. Okay, I've now made a list, packed, cleaned my room. I still need to put the skateboards away, but I think we may sneak in a little skate before we leave and I'm gonna use the cream so I'll probably make like a brownie. So we are heading to the beach for our last swim before we fly out tomorrow. So let's go for our last little swim. list but I like to cross things off so can cross swim off now I honestly don't know what I may have thought so I Oh, we trying just to do had a little trying afternoon to skate oh, know, pretty fun it will be our last oh, skate God. for a while but um put skateboards away can tick it. that off that's all that's on the boat. Okie dokie, so we still gotta use up the cream that we have in the fridge and um, I'm gonna make a brownie, but we don't have eggs and we're out of gas, so I'm gonna try and make it on the pan because we've got like this induction cooktop pan thing for situations like this, I guess. And um, yeah, we're gonna see how it turns out. I'm gonna make it up because I don't think I can find a recipe like that, so. Let's get bacon. I'm not gonna use measuring cups or anything. I'm just gonna do what I think. Measure from my eye. Okay. I'm gonna try to do it all in one pan too. Less dishes. <laughs> Look at this thing, this is great. Out of gas, no problem. I don't know what's gonna make it like you know, like egg does that. Bind it. Bind it. So we've got our melted chocolate. And I think I'll add like some coconut milk. It's a little more runny. And I'll add cacao. A little more chocolatey. A little bit of flour. 
Alrighty, good news people. The gas has turned back on. Well, we just swapped tanks. So now it can be cooked in the oven and probably tastes better. So I'm going to add a few more ingredients and then I'll show you the finished product. Three, <laughs> two, one, finished product. Taste test time. Cream line up, pass it. it was pretty good. Oh, chocolate on my face. Really? Very moist. But I've, it's actually better than I thought. It's really good. Today is the day we're driving up to Phoenix today and we'll spend the night there and then the next day we'll fly. So, got everything packed. Dad's just picking up the car. And then we'll be on the road. Oh, you here to get around. Oh, do you want this or I'll drop it with the arm or whatever? Let it oh, yeah. Well, um, I had one in my house, in the front of my house, which was a huge, huge cactus. Five hours later. We have made the first little part of our trip. Our friend drove us from the boat which is in Puerto Penasco and they drove us up to Phoenix in Arizona where we're now in a hotel. We spent the rest of the day by the pool relaxing in a hotel and had a Whole Foods pizza for dinner. We've got to be up at like five o'clock for our flight so good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. What is that, like the... It is 4.30, showered and dressed. We have a shuttle that we need to catch by five from the hotel to the airport and then our plane leaves at like seven. So I think we're on time. We have now boarded. We're on the plane. I just went home. So we have come to America and we're now held up in the airport because apparently there's a person with a gun somewhere and um, yeah. We're running away from a guy with a gun right now. We've escaped from the airport that was in lockdown. <laughs> Man tells police he has a car full of explosives. So we got told when we were in the airport that there were people with guns on the lower floor and that the airport was on lockdown. But it turns out that it was actually a bomb threat and well yeah, we are fine. 
we uh, I don't think anything actually happened it was just a bomb threat and um, yeah that's what happens at the Baltimore Airport I guess thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week as we spend a week living in the RV